After uploading my video on paper versus feeler gauges yesterday, I thought it might be a good idea to pull together some footage showing the adhesion results of some of my most recent prints. These are prints where I've switched from using any adhesive and I've just run now straight with isopropyl alcohol. I'm also reading in the comments that other people are not having the same success I've been having with just using isopropyl alcohol and a 0.08mm bed level gap and I've been trying to figure out why this could be happening. I appreciate the recommendations of painters tape but the current method I have is working very well for me as you can see in these videos. There's two reasons why I'm avoiding painters tape. One, I often print my models upside down so the first layer of the print becomes the finished surface of the top of the print and I really like the finish the build plate currently provides. And two, I want to keep it simple and quick to start prints. Just spray, level and print. So I've boiled down four main things that I do that may affect bed adhesion. Number one, setting the gap between the nozzle and the print bed to 0.08mm. Not 0.8 but 0.08. Why 0.08? Well if you're printing at 0.1mm layer height, 0.08mm gives you a little extra squish to help squash the first layer of filament onto the print bed. If you're printing at 0.1mm layer height and you set the bed level gap wider than the 0.1mm layer height, the nozzle's basically extruding off the surface of the bed. I normally print at 0.1mm layer height or less, but if I was printing at 0.2mm layer height, I'd probably set the bed level gap between 0.1mm and 0.15mm, but I'd do some experiments first. The second thing I do is scrub the bed with isopropyl alcohol. Imagine you're trying to sand the surface with the paper towel. Give it a really good scrub. The third thing I do is I print my first layers slow. 15mm per second for the initial bottom layer and 15mm per second for the top and bottom layer settings also. I really want to make sure those layers have time to bond. Unfortunately, the top and bottom speeds are tied together in Cura 16.04, so the top layers get printed slow as well. And the fourth thing I do is I print my first layers thicker, 0.3mm for the initial layer thickness setting and 110% for the initial layer line width. This was only intended to be a short video, but I thought it might be worthwhile sharing the results I've been having since switching to just using isopropyl alcohol.
As you can see from these videos, I still get varying levels of adhesion. Some are easier to remove than others, and if I have one that is proving a little difficult to remove, I just walk away, let it cool down overnight, and remove it in the morning. It's definitely easier to remove when everything's cold. In this instance, you can see the print gave me a little bit of a head start. The corner had lifted up just a little and allowed me to get the scraper in to get it started. Now this part was really difficult to budge. As you can see, I've been printing all shapes and sizes and this particular print took up basically 98% of the print area of the bed. I had to go very easily with this one. The bottom layer was 1mm thick, 10 layers at 0.1. So I had to ease it off very gently. I was worried about cracking or breaking the part. We're coming to the end and this is the last video and one of the best prints I've done. This is an upscaled Benchy and it came out almost perfect. It's a gift for a friend who's had a baby and I've placed the baby's name on the back of the boat. His name is Hugo. This is printed in Cocoon brand and PLA. The colour is called Natural and was printed at 195 degrees C on this non-heated bed. It was also stuck fairly well, so not wanting to damage it, I let it cool down overnight and removed it in the morning. It came away fairly easily. Okay, that's it for this video. As you can see, I'm very happy with the results I'm getting. Thanks for watching, best of luck with your own adhesion endeavours, and have a great day. See ya!